Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today I have a special, special video for you. More than special because we have Matt Dubber here. And if you don't know who this guy is, he is a legend in the airgun world. He is a fantastic shooter, a fantastic hunter, a great outdoorsman. And he is so ingrained in the airgun world. I wanted to have him as a guest here on the channel. And we're going to be doing a, a really fun little exercise here today. I've got this wonderful Anschutz here. I think this is a 1712. Uh, fantastic gun. This one is set up with a GRS Sporter stock. Uh, we got a can on this gun. The brand spanking new Element Optic here. And Matt, dude, thanks so much for hanging out with me it's today. It's a pleasure. It's been a few years, hasn't it? Dude, it's been, <laughs> it's a, been a while. Long. So Matt's been on the channel before, but uh, it's been a while. So we want to kind of check in. You've been working on a lot of cool projects, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the air rifles have kind of evolved so much over the past few years. Yeah. And my passion is really to, to see the sport um, not only grow, but sort of evolve from a technical sense. Um, so this is an FX Impact M3. It's a gun that I've, it's almost an extension of my body at this point. Wow. Um, and I've been, I've been trying so hard to, to kind of develop these guns to the point where they can shoot heavy slugs um, and sort of compete a little bit more with the rim fires. So we're at right the on. point now where we can just play around and, yeah. and kind of get on the same page. And I think that's awesome. I was watching you hit that no limits, the, the little tiny, what was it, three eighths? It like, super tiny. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Th these things are just ridiculously accurate. And you're actually involved in the, in the slug design, right? You've had yeah. direct so, input in this. Exactly. So I've got a good relationship with FX, and, and that allows me to, to sort of visit the factory with, uh, with different um, prototype ammunition and kind of run it through their barrels and yeah. make fine adjustments and learn a lot. And that's enabled us to kind of uh, fast track um, you know, learning what sort of lead compound works well, um, sure. getting the diameters dialed in, stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, so these are 40 grain, uh, 217 diameter slugs. So it's a little bit smaller than the uh, sort of 22 cal. It's a little bit, little bit smaller in diameter. They sort of swage out. Pretty much the same, pretty much the same weight. Nice. And, and shooting at about 1,040 feet per second. Wow. Um, so this is a design that that myself and a few other guys worked on and. Um, kind of matched them well to the FX barrels and got them dialed in. So it's really exciting stuff. And you've really done a lot of work on this new Theos. You yeah, want to talk so, about that a little bit? So I'm very involved with, with uh, Element Optics also. I do a lot of the product design um, and development. So this is, the Theos is, has been in the works for, well, since, since 20, 2018, 2019. So it's been a oh. few years and, and we're finally at the point where we, we're happy with it and it's going into production very soon. So... Very, very excited for the public to see it. And I believe this is the, the first video that, or well, this is the first weekend that we've ever really done filming with a scope. So wow. pretty exciting. I'm, I'm so impressed with this rig. I haven't had a chance to shoot your particular M3, but yeah. I want us to, we've got some awesome stuff downrange to shoot at. We're gonna yeah. have some fun, some challenging targets. And uh, look, real informal, man. Let's just do some plinking, have some fun. Sounds and you've good. got your scope camera. So in case you guys don't know, uh, Give him your YouTube channel real quick. Go subscribe to Matt right now. Stop what you're doing and go subscribe to his channel. What's your channel? Finish this video first before you do that. But <laughs> channel is called Air Arms Hunting SA. Yeah. Uh, my accent makes it sound different, but it's A R R A A R M S. So like Air Arms. <laughs> I'll hunting put a link down in the in the box below. You can check yeah. him out. But this guy, his hunting footage is outstanding. It's crazy the stuff this guy does, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, we actually, we have Ted's old hold over here. You'll see an interview coming up with Ted soon, but we've got some of the best air gun hunters on the planet right here with me right now. So what better way to discuss the differences between these very fine guns than with some of the best in the, uh, in the, in the air gun world. So let's have some fun. This and shoots, um, I've only been behind this thing for uh, about a day. This is not my gun. This is a loner, uh, but man, this thing is a freak of nature. It is outstanding. Yeah. It is such a great rifle. And this stock really sets it off, not only in the aesthetic of the looks, but uh, I just love the palm swell and the adjustable cheek piece. You got adjustable uh, comb height and length of pull, which is just wonderful. And best of all, these stocks are like ridiculously affordable, yeah. which is amazing. So. Let's have that, some fun, that man. And that stock works really well with this whole set. It really it? does, man. You got the gray Coltac wrap. I mean, it's yeah. just aesthetically, it is a very beautiful gun, just like your M3 is beautiful. But we can talk about how they look all day. <laughs> Let's do some shooting. Yeah. Uh, we've got some eggs and some tomatoes. We got grapes. So why don't we uh, start out 50 and work our way out? Yeah. I good. mean, I think an egg at 50 is going to be child's play for you and <laughs> me, but we can yeah, give it a try. See. 
Right, we're going to take out a couple of little uh, targets. So tell you what, let's let's try uh, let's let's split the difference in the middle. We're going to hit a couple of tomatoes. Okay. All right. So look, whatever you want to call, you just call something, and uh, we'll both shoot at it. Cool. I didn't really test this thing at 50. At 100, <laughs> this thing's a tack driver, but I guess at 50, I probably should aim just dead on, or it should probably shoot a little high, right, or low. Did you zero at 100? Yeah. Um, it should be around a little, uh, little over a mil. Okay. Difference. We'll, so get, we'll give it a try. Under. Yeah. Okay. We'll give it a try. I'm zeroed at 50, so. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm set. Yeah, man. Uh, well, let's go for yeah. the. Let's go for the tomatoes on the right, far right. On the right. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm spotting for you. Okay. Here she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Think you can hit a grape? Oh, I was shooting at a grape on the far oh, right. Oh, okay. I thought that yeah, was those tomato. are grapes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Next, I'm going to go for the grapes then. Are you on the far right? Far right. All right, spotting for you. Next one. Oh yeah! You gotta just nick okay, that I'm gonna try the grape right there. Cool. All right, so you said maybe a mil. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give maybe it a, a try. Maybe a bit more, but yeah. One point two or something. Ooh, that was high. Just over. Yeah, it was way. Oh, it skimmed, didn't it? Did you hold under or over? Uh, over. No, hold under. Under. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ted's. All right, so Ted's <laughs> holdover is telling me Ted's hold under. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me try that again. All right, under. Just high. Wow, I'm gonna have to do 1.5. I'm, I'm at 1.8 at 100, but my scope part's different to yours, so I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay, cool. Just nicked it. All right, so try a, uh, I think I know where to, where to aim now. I'm gonna load up again. Uh, yeah, try one of the uh, tomatoes. Cool. That should be easy, you're hitting the grapes. Now we got some eggs down there we're gonna take a few shots at. Now I have a feeling those are gonna come apart nice. I wanna see what that slug does. Okay, I'm gonna go for that wide tomato on the right. That's okay. Just to the right of that egg on the right. Yep. Oh, oh wow. Gone. All right, so I tell you what, the egg right there. Oh yeah. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and bust that egg. All right. All right, ready, Nicole? We're busting the egg. Egg on the right. Whichever one you dealer choice. Whoa, man! <laughs> Holy egg on smokes! <laughs> wow, oh, look that at that! Fun. That thing came apart. Yeah. Holy crap, that came apart. Wow. Yeah, that was cool. So, I know in a lot of your videos, you're taking these shots on these, like, you, you hunt monkeys. Yeah. So, tell me about that a little bit. So, so I know the last time you were here, we alluded that I was gonna go over with FX and do some monkey hunting. Oh, so yeah. you literally you hunt these vervet. monkeys. Yeah, so vervet monkeys are such a problem where I live. You can hunt them all year round, no bag limit, and they are everywhere. And they're they a, eat a lot of, They eat a lot of bird eggs, so the, 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 all the birds in the area get wiped out, and they raid, raid houses and just really? cause a lot of, they get bored and they just destroy stuff for fun. So, they Wait a minute. Get, they so you're telling me that these the monkeys? Right the job. You're telling me that these monkeys go around and screw with people. Oh yeah. Like and they know they're doing it. Oh yeah. And then like, you get like the baboons. It, they're conniving. Like they go, oh, I'm gonna go mess with these people. Yeah. And then you get the baboons, which, I mean, they kill livestock and. Really? Yeah. And they're very dangerous. And they eat meat, right? They'll eat anything. Oh, oh yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll eat, they'll eat anything. anything they can put in their mouth. Yeah. Well, I guess that's kind of like humans, right? We do the same thing. We, we <laughs> yeah. eat meat. We eat veggies. We eat whatever won't eat us. Oh yeah. I mean, some people even eating bugs right now. Yeah, you hear about that? <laughs> yeah, I ain't eating no bugs. Nah, I ain't doing that. Nope. All right, so that came apart amazing. Like yep. what, what, whatever that projectile is, I want that in a twenty-two. Yeah. Now this is a Lapua Center X that I'm shooting. Pretty dang good ammo. I mean, this yeah. is some good stuff. So I know this is just standard velocity Center X, but to give you a frame of reference, I'm going to shoot the other egg with this round just to see what it looks like. Now, this is standard velocity Lapua, and I know it's not gonna really look the same, but I'm just curious to see the difference. Oh yeah. So this is a 40 grain solid, and then what, what's the weight on yours? It's also 40 grain. 40 grains, yep. okay, so this is, this is a tip for tap. Comparison. Okay, yep. all right, egg with the 40 grain, standard velocity 22 for comparison. Okay. Oh, 
Bam. Oh, wow, that was kind of lackluster. Yeah. It's well, just a solid. Yeah, this is a hollow point. That's probably the difference. Dude, that egg came apart like nobody's business. <laughs> yeah. That was Hell so yeah. impressive. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to take some shots at 100, and we've got one of those Know Your Limits uh, targets down there, uh, which are awfully fun to shoot at. Oh, yeah, and I think those ones are actually sized for like 30 to 50 yards so that's really tiny yeah. for 100. Oh gosh, oh, yeah. 100%. Earlier you were hitting that really tiny one with this air gun yeah. and I was thinking wow there's no way that I'm gonna hit that with 22 and we were actually able to connect a few times. Now that egg with that hollow point really came apart and mm. the construction uh, like the, the 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 hardness of the lead of that projectile must be very soft it's lead. It's very soft. Right, compared yeah. to, you know, maybe the, the lead used in this center X is maybe a little harder. Yeah. And it's a solid too, so it's, it's yeah. gonna zip right through. Yeah, yeah. But that's a good comparison. It is. Same grain bullet, but just by changing the design of the bullet just goes to show you, how, you know, really the impact that it can have. Oh yeah. So why don't we uh, play around with the know your limits? That's fun, that's 100 good. yards. So why don't you take a shot All and right. then I'll copy whatever you do. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's ridiculous. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna dial to 1.8. Okay. Should get us nicely on there. Yep. And I'll I'll go from big to small. So I'll go for it. How about? All right. Oh, just over. Send it again. There you go. Good job. All right, I tell you what, that one's swinging. I'm going to go the next one over. How about that? Cool. I'll go smaller. Yes, there sir. All right, work your way down. Okay, I'll go for the... Do you see both of our impacts are right edge? Correct. So I think we need to hold a little bit further left. I'll go for the third one. Go for it. I'll hold 0.2 mils. Ooh, wow. Go. Solid hit. Good job. All right, I'm gonna go the next one down. We're just gonna leapfrog it. Yeah. Ooh, no cigar. All right, let me try again. What? <laughs> <laughs> what in the heck <laughs> it's a small target i mean it sure is what's that's smaller than an inch quite a bit wow give it a try maybe okay. you can hit it <laughs> that's a tiny target it is tiny these guns are cape wow oh, look at that just nicked it yeah you hit it though all right i'm gonna try again yes yeah, so i'm getting about 0.2 mils of wind compared to when we were zeroed earlier. Ah. So the wind has definitely changed a little bit. You're holding, uh, you're holding for the wind. Which, little, uh, yeah, 0.2 right. mils for the wind. It's, All right. It's moving a bit. I'll try that. Cool. Because we're both shooting 40 grain bullet. Yeah, it should. Kind of the wind, same is, speed. wind drift should be very, very close. So I that's think. a good point to make. That this M3 is making pretty much 22 long rifle type power, right? More yeah, and and that's that's kind of been the goal because. Um, for example, uh, NRL 22 has introduced an air rifle division. Uh -huh. So if you want to sign up with an air rifle, you can. And uh, the goal is to try to get the ballistic, uh, the ballistics or ballistic performance of, of the slugs close enough to the point where you can be competitive, at least with the rimfire guys. Wow. The rimfire guys um, have the advantage of, you know, being able to learn from each other and select from ammo that's been developed over many years sure this is so new but it's getting to the point where there's yeah. guys just starting to do quite well with air rifles so. you're kind of breaking ground as you go you know you're, yeah. you're setting those standards and in a country like south africa where you need a, a license to buy a 22 long rifle you don't need a license oh. to buy a 22 air rifle you can sign up for nrl 22 brilliant and compete it I just love makes it. life a little bit easier all right so we'll we'll take down a couple more of the know your limits and then i think we need to take those eggs out i want i want to see that <laughs> projectile smack that egg at 100. i fully agree all right so let me take i'll just try one more shot i'm going to hold for that wind a little bit we yeah. got a little bit of a wind down here yeah so point two is is uh where the line begins if that makes sense got you all right well it's a, a very faint little breeze yeah 
Let me give it a try. There you go. Just nicked it. Yeah. Yep. All right. So take that egg out, pal. All right. All right. We're gonna shoot the egg. I'm recording on the scope cam, so this should be. Yep. Should be fun. D dealer's choice, whichever egg you want. All right. All I'm gonna look through the scope because I want to see. Egg on the left. Egg on the left. All you. Whoa, oh, man, <laughs> dude, I'm that gonna be intense. cleaning egg off my camera. <laughs> Like, I, I, I would not be surprised if there's not egg on my, my camera is like 30 feet away and I guarantee it's got residue on it. Oh yeah. Wow. That was fun. Dude, so like, have you had a chance to shoot any monkeys with these yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's very effective. The, the thing is, when hunting monkeys, they're moving around so much and often, like obviously you want to get that perfect vital shot, but having a, 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 a soft lead hollow point just gives you a little bit more margin for error. Uh -huh. And obviously the goal as a hunter is to dispatch something cleanly. Sure. And uh, so these were very much developed with sort of pest control in mind, you know? <laughs> wow. That is so freakishly effective. Like, yeah. I, I almost don't even want to, uh, like, try to shoot it with my measly little, little solid. <laughs> I almost feel like the other egg, you, I tell you what, you should shoot the lime. Okay. So, so yeah. we know what the egg is going to do, and we know from my gun being at 50 yards that the egg wasn't that impressive. So we already know kind of what that looks like when a solid hits it. So yeah. let's save the really reactive targets for your projectiles. And uh, we've got a lime down there. You yeah. know, limes are pretty dense. Yeah. You know, they got a reasonably hard rind. I mean, maybe that'll make a nice little pop yeah, let's at 100, see. okay? That should be interesting. So we'll do that. And then, uh, you know, we do have a few targets set up. I'm going to have you... Uh, shoot an egg at 150 as well. I'd like to see what oh, that yeah. looks like with this proje projectile. And, uh, yeah, guys will be able to see that, that wind flag blowing there. It's not, it feels calm here, but down there it's, it's, yeah. it's going to be tough. All right, so, so take out that lime. Alarm. Yeah, I want to see the lime. It's lime time. It's lime time. You're in the limelight. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes for days, baby. Oh, yeah. Send it when you're ready. Oh, man. I may have just nicked it. I think you did nick it, yeah. And it fell. Okay. All right. You're going to get to make up for it at 150. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So you want to go for that egg? Yeah. I want to see an egg at 150 for yeah. sure. But I mean, while we have an egg at 100, I'm going to have you blast that one too. But okay. Dude, this is fantastic. And the property that we're on is so beautiful, man. Like, so oh, we're, we're yeah. up here with Dave uh, from 22 Plinkster. You guys know who he is. If you don't, check out his channel. But uh, we're so FX is going to be putting together kind of a yearly summit where we get folks together and especially like comparing rimfire uh, to air guns, not only in the power, the accuracy, technologies, uh, you know, all of those different areas. It's just been so cool to hang out with everybody up here. And uh, Tennessee is a beautiful state. We've just absolutely loved the, our, our time up here, man. Yeah, I've, and I've really enjoyed, you know, obviously we all love guns, but the social yeah. aspect and the camaraderie and just uh catching up after a few years mm -hmm. i'll meet met dave for the first time got to see yeah. ted after many years so yeah, you tell me you uh you're looking to move to the u.s is that yes, the plan eventually yeah i know yeah. last time we were together you had kind of alluded to it but i don't think you'd really gotten that far down the rabbit hole yet. yeah it's it's a difficult process long process uh yeah it's it's not easy to get into the u.s legally <laughs> But uh, now we can put you in a cowboy hat and take you down to the border. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll that'll make. We could just walk across simpler. the border and you know there you go. Yeah, they'll give you some baby formula. Oh yeah. <laughs> I digress. Okay. Seriously though, it, it is terrible. Like that is so hard. Yeah. You know, but to, to deal with I that. I think it's the right way to to do it. You can't just let anyone in. So. Man, I can't wait. Yeah. I mean, I I know South Africa is your home, yeah. and it's always going to be home. Oh yeah. But. America's pretty cool too. America's amazing. Yeah. And I, I, I'm going to be broke by the, because of all the guns I'm going to buy when I get uh, here. I have to, I have to, uh, we're well, still going to go home and some, visit, you know? I have to let my, my wife look after my wallet for a while. <laughs> She'll have to hide your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's take out that egg. I want to, I want to see you hit that again. Go ahead and shoot the egg again. Cool. We got one there for you. My, my little, uh, 40 grain solid just isn't doing the trick. All right. We're going to shoot the egg here. Yeah, wind is picking up even more. It sure is. It's kind of in our face, isn't it? Yep. Ooh. Ooh, that looked like it went straight. I think it did. Okay, I'm going to just hold. Run it. Ooh, and there you son. Go. Dude, you smacked that thing. <laughs> Gosh, I mean like. Boom. Yeah, I mean th things I've seen blow up in my day. 
how many not, reactive targets I've seen come apart. But there's something about that egg getting hit with that projectile. Yeah. It's just, it's a visceral. Yeah, now you know why we, why we enjoy shooting invasive sparrows. Dude! It's about the same size. Listen, <laughs> I've got some work to do because I have got to get my butt to South Africa to shoot oh, yeah. monkeys with you. And I'm going to go up there to Wisconsin and shoot some freaking pigeons with Ted. Yeah. I'm it's looking fun. forward to that. Like, we're going to ride around and just absolutely slay some pigeons. <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, we got an exceptional shot set up for you here. No pun yeah. intended. Uh, you got an egg at 150, and then we got a clanger out at two. Yeah. So just to get the juices flowing, why don't we, let's, let's peg that 200 yard clanger a few times. Okay. Have Perfect. some fun. It's a six inch plate at 200 yards. Cool. Looking good. We got a little, little bit of wind blowing in our face. Yeah. Now uh, the post that the egg is sitting on, it's 150 yards away. We can see the wind. We got a bag tied to it to work as kind of a wind sock or whatever. But the cool thing about long range shooting, you have to factor in downrange wind and the wind that's you know near you. And I guess really, the downrange wind plays more of an effect on what's going on than here, yeah. right? Because the projectiles are moving faster when they're close to us. And when they go down range, they're moving slower. And I guess the wind's gonna have more effect on them, right? Yeah. So you have to factor in what's going on down range yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that egg's gonna be tough as well. Cause if we miss, we've got no indication of where we've missed. Yeah. But I think we can do it. Well, I'm gonna spot for you. I'm gonna crank Perfect. up the power. So we got 36 power up on the top end of this element. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna have a look and see if I can spot your shot, but let's take a few at uh, 200 first. Perfect. All right, I repainted that steel, so okay. you should be able to see real well. Yeah. Say what, I'll start us out. Now, but looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna dial two. Do your thing. Yeah, 207.2 mils. 7.2 mils to get to 200, and I'm at 5.1. Yeah. I'm zeroed at 100. 50 and you zeroed at 100 though, so that that's probably sense. where the difference Look at that, in. wow. But I, I guess, I'm guessing that'd be pretty, pretty similar. If... Sure. Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, I'm gonna hit record on my little scope camera as well so we can get We're, that we're seeing all the action. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can see it swirling down there. Yeah, for I sure. can see some mirage as well. Yeah, that 150 yard egg shot is gonna be tough. Yeah. Okay. You can do it. 200. Send it when ready. I'm gonna hold center and just see what happens. I'm watching. Hmm. I'm gonna hold left edge. All right, send Let's it. Let's just double check my, my dope here. Yeah, 7.2. So I'm gonna hold left edge. I think it's moving around quite a bit. It is, it's swirling left to right pretty hard. Send it when ready. Yeah, okay. Good shot. So All right, I'm gonna do the same shifting thing. about 0.6 mils, 0.7 mils. Oh, I think I nicked it. Yeah, so. If you hold left edge, you should hit relatively close to center, I think. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you hit record and everything goes to hell. Hey, you could be shooting through the little hole in the plate. Ah. You never know. <laughs> that's what we're gonna call it. Yeah. All right, that, that, we're gonna <laughs> just say that's the case. I was out here just, all right, hang on. I'm gonna hold dead center and just see. Okay, there you go. One more. One more for Kobe. Yes, sir. There you go. Wow. One more for me. And that's a thin little plate. That's great for rim fires. Cool. Good job. Hit it again. That's got a little more oomph. Oh, it's grouping this so nicely on that plate. Do you see that group? Dude, you're what, probably that is, shooting like that's an probably inch and a half. Inch yeah. and a half at 200. Wow. Yeah. These things are so consistent. That's awesome. All right, so are you ready to try the egg shot? I am. All right, it's all you, buddy. Cool. All right, we're going to so shoot the So this wind egg. is going to be tricky, but now at least we know where it's pushing. Dave! That egg? What's up? Way down there? Yeah. 100 yards? 150 yards. 150 yards? Yeah. All right, he's hit you could do it with a pistol, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. All right, see you, man. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go down Dave. to 4.5. Four. Okay, 4.4. I'll spot for you. Sounds I can see good. that projectile flying through the air pretty decent, but it is a lot of mirage and a little swirl. It is. But, yeah, it's, it, um, the heat's getting hot now as well. It's, it's challenging, but I think you can do it. Okay, I'm going to hold about half a mil. Looking good. All right, you see the wind yeah. on, the, on the flag. Dude, I want to see that thing come apart so bad. <laughs> 
Uh, no call on my part. I didn't really, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Yeah, it's very hard to tell what the wind's doing. Yep. I'm going to give it a little bit less wind. Yep. Yeah, oh. man! Wow, look at that. Dude, it came apart just as good at 150. Yeah, I think I scented it. Wow. <laughs> Dude, those projectiles are awesome. Yeah. We need to load some of those up in 22. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, we, we can't have the rimfire guys getting an advantage though. You know? <laughs> I, I don't think that there is a 22 um, round that does that. You think so? I don't yeah. think so. I've, I've never seen a 22 round come apart like that, mm. make something blow up like that. Yeah, this is, it's pretty much pure lead. Yeah. And I'm not sure, I mean, I don't know how manufacturing of rimfire ammo works. It could just be that they're trying to stop it from getting dinged up. Mm -hmm. These you got to protect them pretty carefully during shipping and stuff. It's shipping is probably the most challenging part too. I see. But the results, they get deformed. the results that you see, wow. it's worth going a bit softer. Yeah. Dude. So FX actually makes all their own barrels too. Yeah, they do. Wow. And it's a patented uh, process that nobody else uses. Essentially yeah. no tooling ever touches the inside of the barrels. Wow. And, and their machines allow you to do crazy things. So for example, when we were, when we were developing these barrels, we, we tried everything from a one in 40 twist to a one in nine. Wow. And we could, we can try all kinds of things and we can do it on the fly. And, uh, it's, I'll tell you what, it's fun going to the factory and just being given free reign. Like, Hey, here's the barrel machine, make what you want. And you know, <laughs> let's, let's, let's progress forward. You know? There's almost a danger in that. Oh, it's yeah. like, you're the perpetual scientist. You're yeah. the perpetual engineer. Like you're always trying to seek out like, better and better and better as you go. Exactly. And that, that's what's so cool about it. Like folks in the rimfire world, the air gun world, it doesn't matter. Even the black, black powder world, uh, for black powder shooters, you've got guys that are into extreme long range. I mean, there's so many different things. And each of those disciplines all have their own group of people that are very passionate about what they do. And that passion does, you know, bleed over into other areas. And air gun people remind me a lot of black powder shooters. Because, yeah. you know, they're really trying to get every little bit of precision. And it's also a slow and methodical process sometimes. So, like, to get everything right. And, yeah, it's, uh, almost, it's, like, it's, it's almost like we we enjoy making lives difficult for ourselves by, yeah. by shrinking everything down. Yeah. Slower projectiles, very low pressures compared to the kind of pressures you're getting in the chamber of a, of a rim fire or center fire. Right on. Um, but it makes it fun. And it's almost like a condensed version of, of uh, what you do with a firearm. Like, even... You, you think of reloading, send if I rifle. I, I've got my own rifles at home and I, I enjoy reloading. It's almost the same here where you can play around with your regulator pressure. You can play around with your hammer spring settings, valving and sure. And we only just scraping the surface of what can be done. Man. So it's fun. I so all, all right, couple more shots on the clanger and then we're, we're gonna get on with our day. What do you think? Perfect. All right, let, let's shoot that 200 yard clanger again. All right, that egg came apart so nice, man. Yeah, man, dude. it's just so cool. That wind picked up a little bit. I'm gonna give it just a slight hold here. Oh yeah, you almost did center there. Let's try again. I mean, those two shots landed an inch and a half from each other. Oh yeah. That's just so impressive. That, that smacked yeah. it with some authority, man. It did, yeah. I think that target's a bit too big for these guns, don't you think? It sounds about the same. Let's do a countdown and try and hit it at the same okay, time. Okay, ready? All right, okay. so three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, boom. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, you side it in. <laughs> ready? Yep. Three, three two, two. One. One. <laughs> That's that it. That's fun. the video. It's over. It's over. <laughs> yeah, man. So um, th this FX Summit is so fun. And this is something that I think we really want to put together, you know, every year, especially comparing rim fires to air guns, but also just getting great people together. And uh, yeah. this is something we're going to do every year. And I'm, I'm so excited for it to see what it's going to do and see this grow. And uh, I've really enjoyed having you on the channel again, Matt. Yeah, I mean, it was great dude, to see you again. Man, yeah. this is so much fun. Thank you so much, man, for <laughs> hanging out. It's a pleasure. Out.
Yeah, man. So one more time, your YouTube channel, so people can go subscribe to you. Go subscribe to Matt right now. Yeah. You have to go watch his, his monkey hunting videos. They're fantastic. <laughs> You're gonna love them. You're gonna binge watch it. I swear you are. Yeah. So I'm sure to make it easy for you, Eric will put the link down below. But it's yep. Air Arms Hunting SA. SA is for South Africa. Right on, brother. Yeah. Thanks, man. Perfect. All right. Keep well. Yep. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Bye. <laughs>